Compass Box, No Name 2. 48.9% ABV. We can't wait to try this. What's up? Hey guys. Uh, hey guys. It is Scotch for Dummies. Four guys on the Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. What is it, Sean? Oh, it's going to be the No Name 2. It's going to be the No Name 2. You know you're going to buy one. I'm right? buying one. To get it. Tasted. <laughs> So we're on location, at find a table, yes. right? Uh, and it's four dummies and a not dummy, not dummy. Not really small well, guy. But you, you may be uh, exaggerating My, a bit there. Uh, <laughs> uh, novice would novice be a, a, no, a good? No, he's not a novice. <laughs> spirits manager. Spirits <laughs> spirits manager might be more appropriate. Uh, so we've been to find a table uh, once or twice. Pick couple up times. a couple bottles a here and there. Uh, but we were invited. Somebody actually invited us somewhere so <laughs> cool. uh, to come and sample the No Name 2. We really enjoyed the No Name 1, uh, but this one has some unique variations from the No Name 1. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, number one, it's gold and not black. There you go. Oh, that's so true. there's that. Uh, but what else do we know about this bottle? Do you know anything, or should I, I go say, to somebody who does know something? Hey, you know what? Let's go to Dave first. Let's go to Dave. <laughs> and put you over to Dave. Dave thank you for helping us. For this one. Absolutely. <laughs> so. Full disclosure, Compass Box, I'm biased. Anything John Glazer puts his name on, yeah. I'm going to be happy, yeah. most likely. Biased. Much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that having been said, I loved the first No Name. Very excited on this one. Uh, as Sean said, there are some changes on this one. I, oh. Last one, majority, was Ardbeg, which... Ardbeg is my sirloin. It's the bottle I keep on my shelf at all times. My sirloin. Can't go wrong with that. I love it. Oh, yeah. go wrong with that. that just got a new term. <laughs> I love it. My sirloin. Um, hey, rough, smoky, meaty. Yep. It does but it's like there. A sirloin. Yeah, it's there every day. Yep. I'm talking oh music in ears right now. That. <laughs> yep. I can smell that bottle right now. This time, they've switched their majority over to Kalila and added Talisker as their secondary, oh, which okay. is going to give it a little more salt, a little more brine. Sure. Um, definitely so increase the time. Because you haven't tried this yet, right? I have not. Ah. <laughs> No, this will be my first time as well. When That's did exciting. this hit Indiana, by the way? So you have this in stock here at Vinatieri? I have this in stock. Uh, arrived just a little less than a month ago. Okay. Just missed our expo, but showed up shortly oh, after. Oh. But this, I mean, obviously it's, it's globally uh, available now. Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, here in the States, it's one... forty-four ninety-nine. I'm looking at their shelf. <laughs> um, and that's here in Indiana. I can't speak across the board. But uh, you, you should be able to get a, a bottle of this. Actually, No Name One is still available, isn't it? It's still out there. It's out there. Um, it's getting harder to find. Uh, we are out of it at this point, but if you search, you can still uh, Do still you expect find. to get more here or no? You think that's Probably much not. We're yeah. probably on to the two at this point. Okay. okay. And honestly, to me, the biggest difference, and this one keeps jumping out, is who's responsible for this? Who's the master blender on this bottle? Ah, pile? yes. So John Blazer obviously is is the mastermind behind Compass Box and the master blender behind several of their bottles. Um, but on this particular bottle, he's not the master distiller. Jill Boyd is the master distiller, and kudos master to blender. her. Master, master blender, blender. Yeah, excuse yes. me, master distiller. They don't distill. Master blender. Um, but kudos to her. I don't know if that's her. This is her first effort, or if she actually has another Compass Box that she's been um, titled as the master blender on it. But she is on this one, and what an honor. And I'm excited to see what she and, did. And no pressure. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because no name one wasn't very good. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's a low just bar. The, yeah. It's just yeah, because John doesn't know what he's doing. You, you yeah. can't miss out. <laughs> right? So one of the things I love about Compass Box is their transparency and what's in the barrel. Sure. And Mark would print it out there it's straight on their website. There's nothing hidden here. But it's like 75.5% oh. art bag. So you know that. That was no name one. Oh. Well, so yeah, no name maybe two no right name So that was the art bag. So no name two. So this is, well, 75% Coala. So that's the, where the main switch is. 10% Talisker, 13% Klein Leash. No surprise. And 0.5% no. Highland Malt Blend. So it's not a single one. And honestly, if you oh, look at their yeah. recipes on their website, you'll see this 0.5% Highland Malt Blend on, on almost everything. every bottle because that Highland Malt Blend that they give a half a percent to consists of oh, yeah. Klein Leash, Dalhuin, 
Um, uh, Tina Nick, I, I mean, they do that to keep things trans. I, I mean, hidden, because I, I, they can't give you the exact recipe, right? They're pushing mm-hmm. their limits. Yes. So they do this. John's really good at... A little fun. <laughs> yeah. Bring me the eyedropper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no Bring kidding, me but. the holy eyedropper. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't sniffed this yet. I smelled well, it when you were pouring it. Um, you know, so we just did. You uh, guys can keep talking. What is that I'm nose? Like, well, it's it's Klein Leash. So well, but it, there, there's it's and not Kahoyla. like. Yeah, it's oh man, it's such a not a normal peak. It's not like campfire. There's like a there's a, a sweet, cotton candy sweetness. There's something what? sweet yeah. and blended into that peat that really is is unique. Man, I see it's there barbecue. before. I got the short end of the stick. See, I I, no, I normally smell barbecue and peat, but I'm not yeah. getting the the same barbecue. It's almost maybe a maybe a Carolina barbecue with some mustard or something. Mm. I mean, it's it's a different. Yeah, it's not. It smells great. It's not like uh, there is definitely yeah. a sweetness there. Mm-hmm. But it's uh, that refined sugar too, like the okay. spicy cotton candy. Oh. <laughs> we it's say a floral. That's what it is. It's a floral. Forty-eight point nine percent ABV. Wow. And the palate is like totally different. You're getting floral on this? On the nose, yeah, it was. Because that's what's giving it kind of that sweet off on the the um, the normal <laughs> peated nose. Ah. Oh wow. It's there's a punch a medis- in the face. There's a medicinal <laughs> note under there. There yeah. is definitely oh, yeah. a medicinal yeah. note in there. Oh, that is, is totally band-aids? barbecue, no, like band-aids. honey mustard barbecue, and <laughs> sweet and spiciness, and. Mm. Like almost like a, I got black fluff, licorice or, in there too. It does black have licorice? that. Black licorice? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just a hint, but it's there. Ugh. Ooh, that's rip- man. This is a potent nose. <laughs> this is definitely. Wow, talk about well-rounded. On the first taste, with no water, just letting it breathe. I mean, that's pretty impressive with the first. It's taste. a potent peated whiskey. That's for sure. I, I never try and judge it on the first sip. I know because it's always a punch in the face on the first right. sip. That's pretty good. But you go back for the second sip, mm-hmm. and it, I get some of that cotton candy. It's It's got a real nice, sweet, like super sweet undertone. Um, like real light caramelized sugar. Um, but then the smoke is, is nice and heavy on the top. But what I like on this is it's not cloying. No. Sometimes with your sherry no, casks, yeah. it, you can get too far into that sweet. It, it's a clean release. It is, um, yeah. It's right down the middle of your tongue. It's right in the middle of your palate. It lets you know mm-hmm. that the sweet's there. It, it kind of counterbalances the smoke it really does. nice. Wow. Everything just kind of fades and blends together on the finish. It's it's really, really good. Quick note about the labeling. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with I'm I'm pretty sure everybody watching this is going to be familiar, but Compass Box and their labels and their bottling, I mean, uh, some of the coolest stuff you're gonna see on a whiskey bottle. I mean, oh, yeah. I, it amazes me. Every bottle they, they come out with, you want the first thing you want to do is look at the label and see what what did they come up with this time, right? Um, one thing on the back of the label you'll notice, it's got the recipe right there. It, it, what we just read from their website, anything. it's I mean it's as transparent as you're gonna get as far as they can get away with. Mm-hmm. But um, the company that they use. To, to do their marketing, to do all their, it, it's just, you look at it and you're like, man, what's all this mean? I just right. got it. It might not mean anything, but you're, you're going to spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. <laughs> There's a pineapple. Right. I don't know. Uh, stranger and Stranger. That's the name of the, the company uh, that does their mm, yes. the marketing. Their marketing. And we were talking with, uh, or uh, we at the store were talking with John Glazer mm-hmm. uh, when he came here earlier this year. And one thing I didn't realize that I think speaks a lot to his commitment. Uh, Stranger and Stranger still hand labels everything. Yeah. Um, this is not, really? Yeah, this is yeah. not a machine. Wow. This is a group of, as he puts it, little old ladies who are still hand labeling every bottle That's he puts out. Well, they have dipping. to cut the wax. Yep, hand they dipping. They have to cut yeah. the wax. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well, they'd because have... otherwise it's a maker's mark. Yeah. 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 yeah, they would have to dip it and then just leave it upside down for a certain amount of time. That's Actually, weird. Yeah, right. <laughs> I... Everything he does, though, cool. I, he doesn't short on anything. Honestly, uh, we interviewed him. It's been almost two years now uh, in New York, right? Oh, yeah. And you know, oh, he popped a yeah. bottle. It feels like it's long. He popped a bottle, <laughs> smelled the cork, and he was not happy with oh, the cork. Yeah. Right off the bat, put this in. A, we're taking this home. He's talking to he his knows cork. A lot. The man is a genius. Super master. Master. Mm-hmm. He is a master. Oh, yeah. He's definitely yeah. a master in his craft. Um, so I'm always excited about trying something that that comes from his brainchild, but this is Jill, and I'm excited to, to, to see I, what she could do. I will say, because we just had, we just we just killed our no-name, uh, what, last weekend? And literally, yeah. it was last yeah, weekend. We, and yeah. literally, literally killed it. So, uh, 
<laughs> but this one has a it's a it's a different scotch. Oh, it's completely for different. sure. <laughs> I mean, just the recipe tells you that. But full disclosure to everybody out there wondering, well, where's your where's your review for No Name One? So what happened? No Name oh, One, you guys. Yeah. We got a bottle from that Pete, the news. national ambassador here, uh, and. Sure. We spent, a, had a great review. Loved the No Name One. Awesome review. Probably the best review we ever did. Probably the best review we've Probably. ever done. <laughs> Never made it to you because when we got done and went to push the button, what I mean, the battery died. The battery had died on the on the camera. We never even noticed it. So that that went, half the review was gone. Can we, can we just publish half a review? And yeah. then <laughs> while we were even while we were waiting to reshoot the review, we drank most of the bottle. Yeah, we never got back to it. <laughs> ah, screw the review. And, and then dummies. Pete was going to send us another bottle to review, and he never got around to it. And then we killed the bottle. Because he different, probably thought you a were a totally a different video, video um, which hopefully will be out soon. But it's not already. This is a completely and utterly different whiskey. Um, I'm still, I have a bottle of No Name One at home. I just can't bring myself to open it because I got John to sign that bottle. And no, so I just don't it. know if I'll oh. open it to, to, to right. compare it. But if so you're ready. Let's not compare. No, I'm not ready. To, I'm not ready yet because I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with this one a little bit. I mean, I love the, the, it's a rich peated flavor. There's a sweetness underneath, but trying to put a number to it for me after that last bottle we had, which you'll see in a different review. I'm ready. It's different for me. So it's, a, I'm working. So you're ready. I'm, you, I'm ready to did go. Did you try the water? I have yeah, not put water on it. Water really is amazing. Yeah, the water if I need more. really ties it together very nicely. All right, Go All right so I, this is impressive. Like, mm. I mean, think about Don't compare stuff, it to one. I'm not comparing it to anything. Keep it all but in I'm tone. just telling you what I get right now. This is impressive. What's the price of this guy again? 144 yeah, oh, man, I'm going to be going home with a bottle of this. I'm going to tell you right now. This is, uh, this is epic quality. This is like... I'm. I'm not huge into the whole smoky peatness anymore, but I still appreciate it. And this is like the 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 roundness of this. I said it from the very first sip until now. Even with water on it, it's got even smoother and more well rounded. Let me give you a description of what's tingling in my mouth mm -hmm. right now. Think of having some Carolina like mustard barbecue, like pulled pork, right? Just a little bit back in the back of the palate there, and you just ate a bit of a Milky Way, that like caramelized what? sweetness in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! It's really cool. It's me. It's what I, I do. I love your description. Um, so, but that's, that's what I'm getting right now. It's just a sweetness, a caramelized barbecue a, with a over, and Milky Way. That's right. <laughs> but with the undertone of like peat and smoky and barbecue, it's just it's really, really, really good. Um, and the price, I think, is I mean, it's John Glazer's Compass Box. I mean, mm, floral move. It's really, it's really good. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a four, guys. Right. I'm really impressed with this bottle. All right. I love it. <laughs> what did you say, Eric? He, he, he went four. four. Holy cow. The only thing I could think of during your description was Drew stopped in like a truck stop in the Carolinas. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get a Milky Way and, and he's waiting for a sandwich. Shower. And we're going to want to do a B-roll. <laughs> he's waiting for a shower. Drew, <laughs> <laughs> balance your shower's ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Oh my god! All right, so, so I, I really enjoyed this bottle. Um, it, it's got a nice full mouthfeel, very well done. Um, mm. The sweet and the smoke and the briny quality are all balanced very well. Mm. I really liked it with the water though. Um, the yeah. water seemed to, to bring the sweet up just a little bit and just kind of tie everything together a little bit tighter. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I could probably drink this all day. Mm -hmm. uh, the I price did. point I think is very fair for what you're getting. Um, I, if I remember right, that the No Name One was somewhere in that general vicinity. So more or less, uh, you yeah. know, I, I think that they they came out with a with a second edition that's got some nice variation. Um, so it's worth picking up but they didn't stick it to you on the price. They didn't go crazy on anything. So I, I really like and appreciate that as well. Cause sometimes companies, when they hit one out of the park a little bit, they are like, you know what? Second version is going to be, uh, you know, 50% higher. Uh, so I, I really enjoy it. If, if this is what we can expect uh, quality wise from Compass Box, which after <laughs> the years I've been drinking it, I assume it is. Uh, I hope they keep doing this for a really long time. Um, I really don't have anything wrong with the glass. I wish it had just a, a wee bit more depth of flavor. Yeah. It, it seems to be lacking just a little bit of, mm. of depth uh, for me to give it a four, but it's still a really solid glass. I'm going to give it a three five. I think it's well worth the money, uh, and I think the profile is great. Oh, it's delicious. I just put another drop or two on it. You want to go? Sure. We got coin number. What we got? Oh, here? What we, we got coin here? number 38 because, you know, number no name two. 
That's, there's no name so for the numbers. Two more would make it 40. Yeah. Gotcha. Exactly. Uh, That's what it is. So I'm going to go with this. Every week we put up with this. <laughs> I don't have a dad joke for you. Let's figure that out. Um, so this this glass, I, I'm struggling with it a little bit, but I think I'm actually learning to appreciate it a little more as it sits. Um, for, for me, it's not what I normally think. It's, the barbecue is, is different than what I normally think of in a peated whiskey. There is more floral in this, in, in this and it's really, it's taking, it's confusing me a little bit, but as I, as I sit there and analyze it while you were talking, and I think that the, the, when you consider the balance of that floral with the peated, because normally when you have a peated scotch, that's about all you get. You might get a rich ruby fruit, maybe on the nose, but that's about it. But to be able to balance having that, that floral note with that pita, I'm like, wow, that, that takes some skill. So I gotta say that that's, that's something that I've not, I've not seen before. Um, from the palate, yeah, it could be greater depth of flavor. I think the ABV is appropriate. I mean, there, you don't, there's no heat. I don't get any real, nope. a little bit of peppery on the end for the, from the heat, but not, not anything major. Um, I'm going to give this, I'm, I'm bouncing between a three and a three five because I think this is better than what I'm getting because as it, we've been sitting here or sit here for the last couple minutes, it's really gotten better. So I'm going to go with a three five because I think this has great potential. I, just, I need to learn it a little more um, because there's there's more in there than I think I'm getting tonight. Sure. So I'm going to give it a three five. It's a great whiskey for $140. It is, again, when you get into that price range, you really it, it gets expensive. But again, this has enough potency that I think you could, and and the long finish you could sit with it for a while. Sure. Um, one hundred forty four ninety nine, one hundred forty five dollars for uh, an NAS. That's salty, right? I get it. It's also a compass box, so you need to, to, to work with me on that because compass box puts out a very high quality. Their standard is extremely high, and honestly, I love John and, and the compass box company what they're doing. Can't say I, you're I, biased. I am biased. <laughs> um, we already said that. But um, I'm also biased because I've got no name one running through my head in the back, and I'm trying Don't. not to do that in this. But in the end of the review, day, I'll tell you this: um, I can taste the uh, it definitely get on the nose. The, uh, the acidic, the acetone nose from the, the Colila. I've got that on this No Name too. I say that because um, Colila is a huge part of, of Johnny Walker. And, and oh. my, my nose is in Johnny Walker oh, all the time. we just had and a so bunch of just, that. Oh, so yeah, I, I mean, it's really fresh on, on, in my mind. Um, good, bad, or indifferent, to me, mm-hmm. I don't like that on my nose. Uh, but aside from that, I think it's a good bottle. I, I appreciate the flavor point. I, I mm. like the sweetness of it. It is different. I definitely get the talisker on it, which I really think is cool because you get there's you can taste talisker in there, right? Yeah. If you know anything about talisker, you get. And yeah. to me, that's really cool when you can dissect a bottle and do that. Um, it, I like the fact that it stands on its own. It's not no name one. Okay, let's just be clear about that. Yeah. It's not. And I think from the recipe, you'll get that. Um, I think it's a solid three. Uh, I think for it to be higher than that, for me to go to a three five, I've got to lose that acetone on my nose a little bit. Um, and then again, gosh, man, it's hard at $145 for an NA. It's hard to do. I mean, I know what you get from the package. And just full disclaimer, I'm going to buy a bottle on our way out of here. It's <laughs> compass box. And so don't think that a three's bad. Uh, Mark's getting one. Um, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to come to your house. Soon. Right? Unless <laughs> <laughs> you are. You son of a gun. That's what I do. I'll give, you, I'll give you a quarter. How much for, how much for, for one bone? <laughs> Three here. And none for I'll this guy. <laughs> so Dave, right. finish this out. Finish this out, Dave. Okay. So, I think I feel about this uh, similarly to what I've heard to, yeah. from around the table. There is nothing that I can say bad about this. Absolutely. And all of the notes are there. I get the Kalila Isla. I get the sherry notes. I get that slight waxiness that you expect out of the yeah. Kleinlish. And you're right, you definitely get mm-hmm. that talisker in the background. The only thing I'm battling with here is I was kind of hoping for the bottle to be more than the sum of its parts. Okay. Yeah. And that, that could be a sure. little Very unfair here. Wise. Sure. I mean, it's everything that it should be. I was just hoping for a little more. Okay. It's a fantastic okay. bottle. I don't know that I can do a four on this one, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, fair enough. I, I think I'm a three five as well. Okay, fair I, enough. Because it's all there, I but I that. feel like there should be something more there, and I can't put my finger on it. Yep, I that's, really can't. That's fine. I feel you. That's great. Yeah. So it's, that that's a, that's a great ana- analysis of it. You know, 
it, it, it is its parts, and they're all the parts are there. But sometimes, you know, had they married these in a cask for a few years, maybe it would have just like, got gone through the roof or something. But that's that's yeah. something that Compass bought. That's that is the bane. That's their arch nemesis. Yeah. That is the sum of their parts because it's always parts. Sure. With Compass yeah. Box. Yeah. They are a blender, so it's there's always going to be a combination of parts. Can they take it to be, you know? Four ones equal five. That's yep. what you wanted, yeah. right? Yep. And I think a lot of times they nail that. This time, right. okay, it's definitely enough. a good four I, as far as the parts. I, yeah, but I don't four. know that you get the addition on this I, one. I, I got a little bit more when I put the water on it. And I'm wondering as this bottle sits and, and so. it may be one oxidizes that just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That, that it, you know, because you were having the same trouble, Andrew, that, you know, it, it may end up, you know, kind of marrying together a little bit more. And you may come back in a month and be like, what was I thinking? Absolutely. This is amazing. So I, I think all around it's it's a good bottle. And I think yeah. it's price wise, it's it's probably, you know, value worth for money. sure oh yeah so, yeah, so. yeah it's sharing. definitely worth it yeah I, well, I think it hits everybody yeah. differently right for it me, is. Yeah, for yeah, me and my, my palate right now it's it's exactly what I, I want what to you have want. And, 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 and then like speeded you know smoky yep. scotch and yep. sweetness so yeah I love it I think it's all great right. all right so all kinds of stuff three five three three five three five so three point five Killing it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can do that math. Awesome. <laughs> he can do that math. Yeah. So, like, subscribe, notification bell. Join us every Thursday Podcast. for our live show. Uh, go, go join us my, on our Discord channel. Go, go to Vine and Table to get a bottle of this. Yep. Yeah, and so join cool. us at Vine and Table. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back here yes. Amen to that. very soon. Cheers, Cheers, everyone. Awesome.